Welcome to Divine Bold Beginnings 93. This will be a reading for the collective. It will be for June 6th. This reading will have our angel reading, our wisdom reading, and our butterfly effect reading. So the first one we're going to start off with is our angel reading. And again, this is for June 6, 2018. So we have a few cards that popped out. We have the nine of action. And it says, you've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and health and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Nature, the animals, and the environment needs your protection. That's the first card that fell out. The second card that fell out is Successful Completion. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey, but for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Nice. Okay, and then from our other deck, we have one that was cool. We have Liliana. And it says, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. And I'm going to read additional out the book, the additional message. It says, your life has been so noisy lately and you need to escape into a place of natural, oh, excuse me, of natural tranquility. It is time for you to be alone in nature, even if it is for just a brief while. You don't need others' permission to take care of your soul in this way. Simply plan your soul journey and then follow through on these plans. Once you are alone in nature, allow your mind to wander wherever it wants to go. Notice your thoughts and feelings and perhaps write them down. After a time, speak aloud or silently to the nature angels that surround you. Ask them to clear your body and aura of any stress that you may have absorbed. Then meditate and pray about your drink. Um, excuse me. Then meditate and pray about your desires and intentions. Prayers are amplified by the power of nature, and you will feel very refreshed when you return home. So, you guys, let's go into our wisdom message. Okay, for the wisdom messages, we have two of summer, falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone, forgiveness and and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Let me show y'all the picture. I like that picture. It's a really nice picture. Okay, let's keep going. We have the King of Summer, which is honorable, devoted, mature, and warm-hearted. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor.
And then the last card for this deck is the Eight of Summer. The desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. I hope you guys can see it. I'm kind of recording this at night, so I hope you guys can see those pictures. Okay, let's go into the next deck. We have the three of Raphael, and it says, Reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. And the next card we have is King of Gabriel. Which is generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experiences that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. There we go. And the last card we have for the wisdom is New Beginnings. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. That's a great one. And this, I hope, turns out to be the thumbnail. Because this is a beautiful picture. And very meaningful, too. Okay. And our next one is going to be the butterfly effect. messages are ask for what you want let the universe and other people know what you need the next one we have is perfect timing this is the right time for you to move forward we have marriage the fairies join you in celebrating wedding bliss And the last card we have from this particular deck is You've Got the Power. Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. And for the next deck we have Take Time for Yourself. Enjoy Relaxation. Activities that nature, I'm sorry, activities that nurture your soul. You are a spiritual teacher. Share your wisdom with others. You were born to teach. And then for our butterfly deck to end off this reading, we have Welcome the New. I like that one. And I'm going to read from the book for these. Give me one moment just to find it. Okay, so welcome the new. Change can be exciting, bringing you opportunities for joy, learning, and success. This card indicates that you may have been anxious in the face of newness. You are... Reassured, though, that this change will bring many blessings for everyone involved. Although it may occur differently than how you would have scripted it. All is in divine and perfect order. Have faith that you'll know what to do in each moment. Trust that your needs will be provided for every step of the way as long as you follow your inner guidance allow yourself to feel excited about this change and appreciate and approach it with a spirit of adventure 
and they have additional messages for this card and it says a big positive change respecting the free will choices of everyone involved even if they differ from your own taking an adventure trip going on a holiday and trying something completely different hmm interesting right the next card we have is forgiveness let me just find that okay it says dear one have you been carrying around anger guilt shame or regret this card indicates that it's time to set down these burdens so that you can spread your wings and fly higher you are guided to release stored emotions and thoughts that may block you forgiveness doesn't mean that what others did to you so oh, yeah did to you is okay or that you need to spend time with them rather it means that you are you are chosen choosing to detox yourself from negative thoughts and emotions related to those experiences prayer spending time in nature cultivating compassion journaling support group and trauma counseling can help you gain understanding of the motivation to complete forgiveness be sure to forgive yourself for any regrets and release grudges you're holding towards yourself it's helpful to learn from mistakes made in the past but not to hang on to them by berating yourself the point is to increase your confidence and the love in your heart so that you can focus upon your dis your divine purpose additional messages letting go of the past adapting a new positive outlook releasing a toxic relationship with forgiveness and past life healing and the last part we have is relationship dynamics okay let's go to that page okay this card indicates that there have been some changes in one or more of your relationships with your family friends or romantic partner there's a sense that you have less in common and are growing apart this may be because you are now more sensitive and more conscious of your feelings when you're with certain people Perhaps in the past, you've numbed your emotional awareness, and now your feelings are awake. The most important relationship of all is with yourself. So, you do need to take care of your feelings and needs in these situations. Yes, relationship involves compromise. But, ultimately, if you are denying yourself happiness, this will be a negative impact on your relationship therefore you can guide you are guided to be honest with yourself about your needs even if it means working with a counselor for support as you make changes all of your relationships will be affected it's time for you to sort through your feelings about each other I mean I'm sorry it's time for you to sort through your feelings about each of them to bring healthy balance into your life and then the additional message for this is moving your relationship in a healthier direction a healed relationship with yourself individual and or marital counseling a new person entering the picture changing the dynamics of your relationships so i thank you guys for watching this reading and again this is for june 6th 
If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to leave a comment, leave a comment. As well as, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a great day and remember to stay positive.